John Doan is one of McMaster's unlucky seven, fired from their jobs at a campus residence after sharing a late night toast on duty. My boss actually saw pictures of what we were doing on Facebook and uh, as a result of a chain of events, uh, seven out of the ten of us were terminated. Facebook is one of the fastest growing social networking sites on the web, host to 16 million users worldwide. Six million photos are added daily, sometimes exposing a side the boss should never see. Thanks to sites like Facebook, MySpace and YouTube, employers Sorry. have a front row seat. This is the craziness that is L'Oreal Fashion Week in Toronto. With 33 shows and 69 designers from all over the world, trends are bound to be set this week. One of those trendsetters is Melinda May Harlington. The 27-year-old is based in Vancouver and is being called the fastest rising Canadian designer for her homage to classic Hollywood glamour. I feel honored that so many people are so interested. In fact, even the celebs are starting to recognize the MMH line. Jennifer Aniston is wearing Melinda's creations along with Michelle Pfeiffer and Paula Abdul. A people on the brink of disaster. These haunting images of pre-Holocaust Europe were captured by photographer Roman Vishniak. They show poor Jewish communities in the late 1930s already facing persecution, unaware of the horrors to come. There was no way in the world to imagine what could possibly happen. Uh, but no Jew could feel secure or safe, even children. Roman's daughter Mara brought these photos to McMaster University for Holocaust Remembrance Day. At times they are hard to look at, considering the fate of most of those photographed. A few of the people in the exhibition did survive, uh, very few. You're looking at a University of Western Ontario residence room. The students took out the beds and turned the room into a swimming pool slash water wrestling arena. We tracked down one of the students responsible for creating it, Dan Bader. Well, really, it wasn't anything too planned out. You know, you just woke up one morning thinking about what can we do, you know, have a little bit of fun. And so uh, we decided, hey, let's get a pool in here. I was all right professional dancers we hired there. And so with a couple of <clears throat> professional dancers and garbage cans full of water from the shower, these students had a room party to remember. The non-academic side to university is for many the most exciting part of going away to school. It's a time of independence, a time where a person's life can get a whole lot crazier. And streaking seems to be making a comeback. Yesterday there were streakers, they were like butt naked, painted and everything, like right down the street, it was awesome. A Star Wars love story. Denise and Brent Evans, also known as Red and Johnny, are huge fans of the saga. So, to pay homage to the sci fi movies, they created a series of pictures and put them on the internet. It was just like a little inside joke, you know, between yeah. us. We yeah. were doing it just to make each other laugh. It was just, I dare you do this and that, and we've had so much fun. The couple has even been featured in the Star Wars Insider magazine for their creative pictures. We did a shoot with our dentist and our doctor, and everyone <laughs> just loves playing into it. Okay, time out. Now the story gets even weirder when they discovered their celebrity status. We decided for our one year wedding anniversary, we were gonna put on our wedding clothes and do a series out in uh, Niagara Falls. And as we're walking along, people are like, congratulations, we're like, awesome, yeah, that's cool. And then we're doing our pictures with the helmet, and this group of Chinese people come up, and they're like, we know you, we know you. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you know, and he's describing all of our pictures, and he said that we were in a Beijing newspaper. Our first date was in December 63. It was, uh, we went skating. It was, um, it was so sweet. It was so innocent. I was a little bit, uh, Re reluctant to ask her out. Ray and Linda were high school sweethearts. When she was 16, Linda, the prom queen contender, found out she was pregnant. No one went to high school pregnant, absolutely ever. I was kept out of the loop completely. It was a, the whole thing was about a secrecy to protect uh, the parents and whoever back in town. The doctors and nurses were not very kind in those days. 
And it was a very, very frightening experience. During the night shift, I would sneak down to the um, nursery and touch her little hands and touch her little toes and look at her. I didn't want to give her up. I fought like a tiger to keep her, but it was to no avail. They are fast, fast, fast. Then you have to do this and you have to do that. It's lunchtime and Elvira Tchaikovsky is on the run. I'm used to it. I'm used to it doing fast. Elvira, you'll soon learn, doesn't do and anything you halfway. Okay, Lisa, here you got the third one. She started here at Barton and Green Road in 1968. And I used to have banquets. Oh, that was Alleluia with me. How many cabbage roll? Oh, I used to do cabbage roll incredible. Yeah, my style. Soon after, she got a liquor license, the first woman around to have one. Because everybody was screaming. When we come dining that time, you know, they want to have a drink too. I did my glories for at least 25 years. It was incredible.